Hey, 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 everybody. Michelle is here in the building. Yeah. It is uh, November 17, 2023 on a Friday, Friday, Friday. And I just finished my walk and I thought I would come on through and just kind of share some things with you. First of all, I had, uh, wanted to clarify some things. I made some mistakes on some things I said. That's why I say the wording can cause a lot of confusion. And it's going to take us some time to kind of elevate our words and elevate how we are expressing ourselves as far as making sense that our words make sense. Our words uh, uh, are not contradicting to our behavior and actions, you know. So uh, I said something last, I think it was last year, about planets. I said that, um, I think I said we we have a uh, a uh, an advance planet and we have a planet that is prehistoric where the dinosaurs still exist and then we're kind of on our planet here earth and i think i call them dimensions and that was a mistake they're actually planets okay three separate planets the past the future and now okay and so um and I just want to clarify that, that we have seven dimensions, okay, believe it or not. We live in the fourth dimension, which is the material, the material belt, so to speak. We also have a, um, a twin universe, a twin universe that has the same, same elements as what this planet has, okay? And um, so I know that's kind of wild, and that's fine. I love putting out wild thoughts because these are not theories, but I'm just going to put them out there because there's no way to prove it. And that's not my responsibility for it to be proven. We just have to develop ourselves up to that, up to certain factors that are existing in our, in our planet that may not be visible right now, seen or felt. Okay. Um, for example, I was listening to a conversation between two men, and I'm not going to say who they are. Because if I say who the men are, a lot of people are going to say, okay, Michelle, Michelle this, Michelle that. I was listening to their conversations, and he said something symbolically that uh, fits into a lot of things that are going on that we are not vibrate, vibrating enough to consider it and to experience it. And he says, say, for example, there's a cup of clear water. Have a have a cup of clear water, and and you visibly see me pour in seven different colors, okay. But when you look at the glass of water, it's still clear water. So what does that mean? Okay. So think about it symbolically. You like I said, you saw me pour in. You see that there's a a clear glass of water sitting on the table. You see me pouring in colors. And these are all, these are rainbow colors or whatever colors you want to consider. They're poured into that glass of water. You're watching me do it. But then you look at that glass of water and it's still clear water. Does that mean I didn't pour in seven colors? It's just you can't see it or we can't see it. But does that mean it's not there? The same thing with, um, uh, so that's a symbolic way to look at things. Just because you cannot see the, see it, it doesn't mean it's not there. I told you about when the sunlight, the sun, the, the light of the sun is you know coming through your window, and if you just sit there and look at the uh, at the within the light, you see all that dust in there, like millions and millions of pieces of dust or material. And I told you we breathe all that in. By the way, even though I got all I got air filters in here, I mean. We still be, we still breathe in those type of particles. That's the same thing with like carbon uh, carbon monoxide. That's invisible, right? But does that mean it's not there? So we have to develop devices to detect it. And that's the same thing with dimensions. That's the same thing with the twin universe. That's the same thing with the uh, the future planet, the prehistoric planet, and you know of course our planet. Okay, and so there's a lot of planets out there that are there, but our eye, you know, we have to build our eyes up and advance our eyes enough, just like with any kind of developing to see it. 
There, there, but there may be a you may be may be able to detect it via radiation tools. Who knows? So all I'm saying is just go there with your thoughts and enjoy. Know that you are uh, developing, and sometimes you're not. You know, whatever is there, you may not see it. Like the air we breathe. Okay, like I'm breathing now, but I don't. I don't see the air unless what. I go outside and it's freezing cold and then you'll see that it's there. Okay, it's the same concept with everything else as we're developing. We're, you know, we're not going to develop any more than our consciousness can handle. Okay, that's just the, that's just the nature of the beast. And a lot of people are going to want to be more than they are. And that's where they're running into dangers with dangerous mind games. You know, they, they think they have all this power and they have all these skills and abilities that they don't. They're in delusion. An illusion and they get and you can tell you know that they are possibly a delusion because they get angry with you when you point it out that they're not that's not right that's not true at all they get angry with you and then they stop dealing with you and that's fine okay they get angry with you when you challenge that and it's not that 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 I would be challenging I would ask the appropriate questions to make sure is it true are you delusional are you hallucinating right now where are you sitting are you grounded in your reality? You know, sometimes you have to drill people like that just to make sure that they are aware that, you know, maybe they are hallucinating and in, in delusion about things. And, and like I said, they get angry about it. Like I am not going to, I, if someone tells me that I'm, if I'm watching someone uh, with, with a clear glass of water and they pour in seven colors, but I don't see the, I don't see the colors in the water. What does that mean? That it didn't that that it doesn't exist? It 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 does exist, but I right now I cannot see that. Okay, but it doesn't mean it's not there. That's like with anything else. I have to develop myself to be able to to understand what that means, you know, and, and, and be able to, you know, evolve my vision. You know, you're evolving your vision just like you're evolving your hearing, your feelings, sitting and receiving it. Just like energy, can you see energy? But if you have a detect something that can detect it, okay. And so that's wh that's where we're lagging behind, is um, in the detection of things. Doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It's just our detection of it. The same thing about hearing. Some people can hear. Some people claim they have this um, tendonitis. Okay, but they can hear it, but we cannot. I cannot hear it. Only they can. But doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Okay, so, and, and um, you know, I've known relatives that said the same thing. They had these kind of ringing in the ear. Okay, I know this person is uh, of sane mind. I know this person is not delusional, and I know this person is not hallucinating. So, okay, but it doesn't mean that, you know, so that's, what, that's what's going to ha happen with a lot of us. We're just going to have to be gentle and kind with ourselves and not necessarily look, for, look to prove yourself to anyone okay you have to make sure that you are you know taken care of and you manage your emotions and feelings and ask yourself why do I why does anybody need to know per se and why do I need to prove myself to anyone because that there's no way to prove it but I know from from the the the, the uh the experiments that everybody uses to detect things if I'm doing the same thing then what okay so that's the same thing about UFOs. You know, all of us have seen something unidentified, but does that mean that it's uh, unidentified? You know, a lot of us want to see something other than what we see. And that's, that's just the nature of the beast. You know, I can guarantee you that some of us have seen uh, uh, unidentified objects in the air but if you know that they've been there for millions of years, they're not, they're just unidentified to us. Okay, they're identified and they identify a bowl, but they're just unidentified to us. That's the same thing about when you're in kindergarten, when you're learning things, you know, it, it's just going to take time to develop. Just like when you're trying to learn math. Oh my goodness. You know how difficult, I mean, for me, it was difficult in the beginning with math and understanding equations and how, understanding how things um have a have a form and have a consistency with math that's why a lot of people like running to math because you can actually 
you know, you can, you can put it, you know, you can put it on paper and you can see the formula of it. And it, you know, and it makes sense to a chemist or a scientist, but it doesn't mean that it might make sense to me, a lay person. Okay. What, and that's the same thing with anything else. So that's why you gotta just, 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 just stay grounded. Okay. And not attempt to leapfrog over everybody and think that, you know, that you are more than you are. Okay. Uh, think about it in this way. If I realize that I am not important, I can finally realize how important I am. So in other words, take it off the, the personal and not feel attacked when someone is uh, telling you that, you know, that because you can't see it or because, you know, because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Okay. And we have to give, we have to give people the benefit of the doubt. And when it's, when my consciousness is ready for me to, for that to be revealed to me, it'll be revealed to me. That's just like anything else. It just takes some time of a developing, developing. And a lot of people don't want to, don't want that time. They don't have, they, you know, they don't have the time to be developing themselves or striving to understand themselves and what power they have and what power they don't have. So, but yeah, mathematics was a, was a, uh, <laughs> it was like gymnastics to me, mental gymnastics. I, you know, I didn't, I, you know, I uh, may have done well in it, but it's like, you know, like anything else. But I do love when it, when you can point out to me how, how certain formulas, you know, develop into this and develop into that you know like with the like the computer applications a lot of people say it's nothing but x and o's but do i see x and o's no i see pictures of people you know when i look on the internet or look at a picture or whatever so give your consciousness something to work with is all i'm saying expand your knowledge base expand your vision expand what you hear Expand what you feel and just take it there, but make sure you know that you're not hallucinating and you're not uh, um, delusional, okay? You're just entertaining your thoughts, giving your thoughts something to work with. You know, that's why I say fantasies are fantastic, but you can't live in your fantasies. You have to eventually come out of them and, and go wash your damn dishes, all right, and clean your house. Okay, or you know, clean yourself. Go get a haircut. You know, so it's, uh, you know what I mean. You know, <laughs> you know. You have to still function in this society, and and make sure you what you see is what you see. But there's nothing like I said. There's nothing wrong with being in fantasy. That's where a lot of the creative people. I mean, they they soar in in that field. Um, but in most cases, you know, you don't want to interfere too much. When you are having fantasies, know you're in a fantasy, you know, allow it to come into you and then see how you can cultivate and contemplate it, you know, at a later date into some art piece, into some music, you know, into sounds and tones, you know, in other words, you know, play with it, play with yourself in a friendly way, not in a devi deviant way. <laughs> we, I think we do enough of that, right? Not degeneracy or deviancy, but just in a playful, childlike creativity and exploration or discovery. I love doing that. I told you with it, with colors and forms and abstract. I, I love looking around at textures and you know that kind of thing. Kind of spurs me on. For other people that's uh, auditories, they like that with a piece of music and sounds and tones. And then the people in their feelings is what they're what they're instinctually picking up, you know, the energy and how the energy is coming through them. You know, this is a whole lot of a whole lot of things to consider. But make sure it makes sense to you. Make sure you're gentle with yourself when you do go off into some fantasy world and you know, and you and you and don't get upset when people tell you, okay, that's you know, because a lot of people are going to do that. They're going to say, "Okay, you're delusional right now," and don't get upset about that. If you if you can if you can control your emotions about that, just you know, just see how you can let things flow off of you, and not take everything so personal, and and guard yourself in that way, so that you can take away some of this anxiety. 
and take away some of this doubt and all this panicking because you know I could look in some people's eyes you know when I'm talking I used to talk to them back in the day when I was a first responder you could tell in their eyes they're like you know they're they're they're, they're panicking even though they, they they pretend to be calm you know in their eyes I could see the panic in their eyes you know the anxiety you know you can pick up sort of things in, in their behaviors and actions you know so make sure you're getting proper rest you know eating properly indulge if you want some ice cream shit eat some ice cream or if you want some chocolate chip cookies eat them but know that you know and know that you're not doing it because you're feeling anxiety or you're feeling panicky just eat a eat a bowl of ice cream because i want to and you so a lot of people say well i deserve it well you do i mean you know you de you deserve to you know uh be you know as long as you're being conscious why why not eat a bowl of ice cream or chocolate chip cookies or you know, or go for a walk or or go to the movies or go over to a friend's house or take yourself out to lunch, you know, take yourself. You you know, I, I can go anywhere and have lunch by myself, dinner by myself. That's no issue. I mean, I love the company of others, right? But I but I have no issue with my company. And that's where that's where you need to be comfortable with is your company, being with you and dealing with what you are conjuring up in your life and how yes Wherever you are, you put yourself there. Okay? So if you want to get out of wherever you are, ask yourself how to do that in a gentle fashion. How do I get out of this and stop making the same mistakes over and over again? Get myself out of the whirlpool or get myself out of an abyss. Don't be sitting around waiting for people to come around and save you. Okay? it's gonna. I told you, it's at a point now where it's about rescue. And some people are going to be rescued and some people are not. So I would focus on rescuing myself and make sure I have plans and, and, am, and I am prepared, whether it's literally, figuratively, metaphorically, or symbolically. How about that? So I'm going to go ahead and send peace and love right now. I'm going to go in here and indulge <laughs> and then enjoy my evening. So I'm going to send peace and love for now, but trust me, I'll be back.